What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So we took a break from the new look series, but we are back today and today we're going to be doing a new look Detroit Pistons rebuild after such a good offseason that they had. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Dropping a like in this video helps push it out to the YouTube algorithm. So thank you guys so much for that. But when it comes to, to the Detroit Pistons, Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey backcourt, what more do I really need, need to say? This team is going to be so much fun along with Jalen Duran as well. This team is going to be just a breath of fresh air. Like what makes you not want to watch the Pistons this year? This is going to be so exciting. So Pistons fans have to be excited about what they're going to see this year so when you look at the rotation as is right now it's really solid and they actually have room to maybe even get even better if they really want to so uh we're gonna just go into this first season with literally no expectations we might be a playing tournament might be a playing tournament team might be a playoff team and maybe a lottery team who knows honestly i'm fine with any and we have some veterans honestly that we could maybe move at the trade deadline if we want to make like a huge move we really do have kind of the ammunition to do it we can definitely match a lot of salaries whether it's you know throwing Alec Burks and Noel's contract together along with Helen Olenek there's a lot of options we could do here and then there's a lot of exciting things about this team as well so I'm very very excited to rebuild this team today and I want to make a really good move to push this team over the top now I'm not really sure who it's going to be for but I think the biggest thing on this team right now is the power forward position like what is the power forward position going to look like going forward right now I know it might be Marvin Bagley our guest Isaiah Stewart so I assume the starting five is going to be Isaiah Stewart at the center and then you'll have Marvin Bagley at the four that's what I assume it'll be but I could be wrong I and mean, maybe it's uh Jalen Duran and Isaiah Stewart out there together immediately so I'm going to just roll with this for now because I think this is what it'll look like I envision Marvin Bagley off the bench a little bit better uh, off this team I kind of like the idea of him off the bench and then I do want to get Jalen Duran minutes this year though like really really do want him so as much as I like Kelly Olenek, I'm going to throw Jalen Duran those last few minutes because I definitely want him to play. And then, honestly, I'll probably throw Saban. Well, I mean, because I know for a fact, and then Killing Hayes even getting minutes right now. So who else is taking over minutes? Alec Burks. So I'm going to try to solve this at the trade deadline, I think, with the Noroswell and Alec Burks thing because I definitely want to get Killing Hayes minutes. Now I want to get, you know, all these other young guys minutes. Like, I definitely want to do that. So, at, for now, we're just going to roll with it how it is. And then once we're at the trade deadline, we'll try to solve some minutes and uh, maybe acquire a really good player. So, it doesn't look like we can go up anywhere. So, I guess I'll just run a grit and grind system under Dwayne Casey. And shot tendencies, Kate Cunningham's is a 75. Marvin Bagley is a 75. And then Jaden Ivey is a 75. Okay, I guess I'll just leave those how it is and just see how they develop. So, Listen, wait this season, probably going to stop at the trade deadline. That way I can solve some minutes issues and then maybe acquire a really good power forward at the trade deadline if possible. So instead of acquiring a really good power forward at the trade deadline, I think what I'm going to do is just sell high on these guys. So Alec Burks right now is averaging 14 points per game. I'm trying to squeeze a first round pick out of Milwaukee for Brooke Lopez in a first. That way, you know, B Brooke Lopez just an expiring contract that'll walk in the offseason. I'm not sure the Bucks would totally move on from Brooke Lopez, but that's not my problem today. So I'm going to offer it. They want two second round picks in return. I mean, we get a first round pick for Alec Burks. I'll take that. So that is one move I wanted to make. That way I free up rotational minutes. Brooke Lopez will probably not be playing for us. And then Neuro as well is also the other guy. And then Kelly Olenek as well, if I can find a way to move him. So uh, Neuro as well. Also on top of that, I would like to acquire first. So I want to keep my books open though. So I don't really, I like the idea of maybe getting Davis Bertans, but at the same time, I do not. Terry Taylor in a second round pick. But we do get a first, and then we got a second round pick, second round pick. So maybe we go ahead and do that Mavericks trade where we get a first round pick, and, say, and then we take on Davis Bertans', con Bertans contract that is non-guaranteed in uh, 2024. So yeah, I guess we can do that. So we'll go ahead and make this trade. We'll take on Davis Bertans' money. The Dallas Mavericks get themselves another backup center. Known as well, goes back to Dallas where he should have gotten his bag back then, but he decided not to take it. And then last, but certainly not least, I'm going to try to move Kelly Olenek as well. If there is not a move out here, then I will just remain or he'll just stay and that's fine. And then you got Terry Taylor in a second round pick. Not sure why the Pacers would do that. Uh, Landry Shamit. But I guess if I was going to, yeah, I guess we're just better off keeping him. We could just decline his team option. So we move Alec Burks in our own as well. That was the main thing I wanted to achieve. And we basically open up minutes now. So Keelan Hayes is getting minutes now. And then Jalen Duran still not, which I do want to solve that. And then Kevin Knox isn't even getting minutes. But Brooke Lopez, I don't think I want the rotation whatsoever. I mean, he's cool and all, but I'm going to go ahead and throw Jalen Duran out there instead. Rather just play Jalen Duran, let him develop a little bit. So I'll throw him out there for however many minutes. And then Jaden Ivey, I know they're wanting to start 
or, or not Sadiq Bay. I want to move him for Hamdi Diallo. Like I know they want to start Hamdi Diallo, but I'm going to stick with Jay Ivey. So that is what I wanted to solve with the trade deadline. Get some minutes freed up and we definitely achieve that. So starting five remains kind of the same. And then our cap space should be opened up. Yes, we took on Davis Breton's contract. Uh, so that's tough. And then Brooke Lopez will walk. Kelly Olenek will walk and we'll have money freed up. And who knows? Maybe we could sign a really good free agent in the offseason. So I'm feeling pretty good about how that trade deadline went for us. And right now we're fighting for a play-in spot. So we'll see if we can continue to hang on to it after making those trades. So at the end of the season, after making those trades, we do miss out on the play-in tournament by just barely missing out. MVP goes to Luka. Chet wins Rookie of the Year. Daniel Gafford, six man. Young offensive player, Anthony Edwards, most approved. Nate McMillan, coach of the year. So yes, I would have liked to have made the play-in tournament and get some little bit of a playoff experience and Ben Simmons all NBA first team. But at the same time, getting a lottery pick is going to be, you know, just a little bit sweeter. So I'm okay with that. And then all in defense first team, all defensive second team. And here were your stats for this season. We had 22 from Katie Cunningham, 15 from Jaden Ivey, 15 from Sadiq Bay, 14 and a half from Marvin Bagley and 12 from Hamdi Diallo. I'm not sure why Sadiq Bay is all that mad at me, but not going to worry about it. Everyone is on their rookie contract right now. So I really do think we should take advantage of this offseason and try to sign someone big if possible. Not really sure what this free agency looks like, but I'm excited to take a, you know, dive into it and see if we can acquire someone. So we got the Hawks beating the Pacers and then the Celtics and the Pelicans meet up in the finals. And Jason Tatum is your finals MVP after they swept uh, the Pelicans. Okay, we have no LeBron James retirement. Carmelo does retire in Minnesota. And then we can go straight probably to draft lottery. So, uh, and then I want to make sure, did Dwayne Casey retire? Bill Baino did. Okay, that's fine. Draft lottery time. So we are projected, let's see. We're projected the 11th pick. So I think this pick is protected, but I could be totally wrong. So we'll see if that is the case. Since it is at a number, uh, number 11, I'll watch it. And we might be able to trade this pick. Or you might be able to just add another guy off the bench. I don't know if I'll be able to find my starting power forward in this draft, but who knows? Maybe I can. So Jazz, number 13, which that means the Jazz already moved up. That is absolutely insane from the 13th overall pick. Okay. And then this is our pick potentially, and it is going to be in fact ours. So there's no reason to watch the rest. So we have the 12th overall pick, Magic get number one. That Rudy Gobert pick became number three or Rudy Gobert trade. One of the picks in the Rudy Gobert trade became number three, if I can say that correctly. And then number 12. And then I think that's it. I don't think we have any other picks, but we have future picks that we acquired. So we could technically make a trade or we could just keep our books open still. Like I said, there's so many options here because all these guys are on their rookie contracts. Our books are completely open. So I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I'm going to just see what's out there for me because I feel like we have a lot of good options here. So I don't think we're going to be using this draft pick in a trade. So we're just going to jump in here and just see if we can get at number 12. So we're just adding more young talent to this roster that we already have. So we could take like an Amon Thompson or an Amani base. But I definitely think I'm taking Amon Thompson here. I think that's how you say his name. So we could take Amari Bailey, but I like my guard play. So I'm going to grab another forward here and Amon Thompson at number 12. And I'm feeling very, very good about that. So just like that, we walk away with a 77 overall potentially off the bench. Feeling good about that. And we'll accept Gabriel Prashada's uh, second round rookie contract, whatever. So, Kelly Linick, I'm going to definitely decline. And then Killian Hayes, I'm bringing back Isaiah Livers. We're going to bring everyone back here. Our bench is going to be really strong. And I think we literally have money to sign a max free agent. Let me see if that is the case. I definitely think we do. Dark cap breakdown. Looks like we're a little bit over, which I'm surprised by. Maybe there's some cap holds I need to renounce. No. Okay. So, I'm not sure. Wait, do we not? Do we really not have that much money? I thought for sure we'd have money. We're very close. Okay, so it looks like we could sign LeBron James, obviously, if we wanted to, but I don't plan on doing that. So what is the free agency market looking like for us? So you have LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, James Harden. I don't think I want any of three of those guys. I kind of want someone on the timeline. So RJ Barrett immediately stands out to me, and it's like, wow, we could acquire RJ Barrett, add him to the team. But I did do that in the Hornets rebuild, so I'm going to try to be different today and not do that. And then Miles Bridges, if he wasn't, you know, in the trouble he's in, He'd almost be the perfect guy for me to sign right now, but I'm going to stay away from that. And then Nikola Vucevic, Tyler Hero, Colin Sexton, Dylan Brooks, Christian Wood, TJ Warren, Miles Turner. So it's starting to get a little bit thinner down here. Kuzma, Grant Williams, and then DeAndre Hunter. Okay, so Grant Williams, DeAndre Hunter kind of stand out to me as two guys. I kind of like the idea of bringing in Cameron Johnson also. So there's definitely some intriguing pieces. I do want to check the trade market as well, just to be safe, just to see if there's anything out there. Because right now, my number one targets... It would be Miles Bridges, but unfortunately, it just I'm not doing it today. So it'd be DeAndre Hunter or Grant Williams. I like the idea of either one. DeAndre Hunter being a little bit taller, I think, fits perfectly to kind of what we're trying to achieve. RJ Barrett would almost fit perfectly as well. But like I said, 
uh, I did get him in the Hornets rebuild. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit different. So I am gonna check the trade market just to be safe. And then we're probably just gonna go ahead and sign DeAndre Hunter or Grant Williams if we can't find anything. The only other guy I can think of that would be like really nice here is like a John Collins maybe, but it also would be really nice to just add a three and D wing like DeAndre Hunter here and just be okay with that. The Bucks missed the playoffs, so wouldn't it be cool if I could trade for Giannis on Kumpa right now and they were selling and Giannis was just like not untouchable? Like, I don't know if I'd be able to pull that off. That'd be really tough. The other guy was like Evan Mobley, but he's untouchable as well. And I don't think Cleveland would really trade him. Jaron Jackson, I don't think Memphis would really trade him either. So I think at this point, we could get Jared Vanderbilt, which would be cool. But I think at this point, we might as well just use the money we have opened up already. Not have to trade assets and just roll with free agency. So that is what the plan is going to be. RJ Barrett would be cool, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and sign DeAndre Hunter to Detroit. And I think he'd fit perfectly to what we're trying to accomplish. And our books are still open. So we should be able to sign some other guys. So I'm gonna give him four years, 17 million. Hopefully the Atlanta Hawks don't match. And I get myself another three and D wing here in Detroit. And I think he fits perfectly and adds defense. So we're going to add DeAndre Hunter to the roster. It looks like the uh, Hawks are not matching. So they're gonna lose DeAndre Hunter. We could still spend some more, but honestly, I think after acquiring DeAndre Hunter, we kind of have a full rotation. So it's Cade Cunningham, Saban Lee. You have Jay Nivey and Killian Hayes, which I'm so okay with. And you have, obviously you have like DeAndre Hunter, Sadiq, Sadiq Bey, Amon Thompson, and then Marvin Bagley, and then Isaiah Stewart and Jalen Duran. So what I want to do is I think I want to play either Hunter or Sadiq Bey at the four because they can definitely hold their own on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, Hunter will stay the same at power forward. So I'm going to move him to power forward, and then he is going to play uh, a little bit of backup small forward or play small forward as well a little bit. So that is the game plan. We might be a little bit small, but I think we're fine just because DeAndre Hunter can clamp up. Sadiq Bey can do the same thing. We added Amon Thompson. I think this was a yet another successful offseason i want to see Jaden ivy take a jump and eventually i do want to see jalen duran take a jump hopefully he gets uh crazy development 45 percent from the field 0. 0.7 he can get a lot of minutes so I'm not really sure i can judge him based off what i saw but our money is still opened up so technically we could sound like a thomas bryant miles turner but or even a mo bamba which we could but i'm gonna roll with what we got so i'm feeling pretty good about this team right now player progression you got kate cunningham up to a 94 Sadiq Bay up, DeAndre Hunter is up, Marvin Bagley, Jaden Ivey is up too, Killian Hayes. So I just want to see them continue to develop. Jalen Duran's going up, so that's good. And then Amon Thompson, probably going to get those last few minutes, probably the last part of the rotation. Kevin Knox, probably not going to be playing much, I'm sorry. So Killian Hayes is our backup guard, which I do like. I think the last time I did a Pistons rebuild, I ended up trading him where I didn't play him. So I'm glad i actually getting him minutes this time because someone was very upset with me when I didn't. So power ranking lands us at number three. And this is your starting five. So it is Cade Cunningham, Killian Hayes, Sadiq Bay. They still want to start Marvin Bagley. I disagree with that. I want to start DeAndre Hunter, to be honest with you. So I'm going to throw DeAndre Hunter there over Marvin Bagley. I like Marvin Bagley off the bench a little bit better. I just think that makes a little bit more sense for me. And then he'll uh, play some bench minutes. So I'm going to force non-starter on him. And then we're going to have DeAndre Hunter be our brand new starting power forward here in Detroit. So that is looking great. Marvin Bagley, Jaden Ivey, they want to start killing Hayes. I disagree with that as well. I'm going to start. Um, I keep clicking Sadiq Bay on accident. I'm going to start Jaden Ivey next to Kate Cunningham. I'm sorry. So, Killing Hayes can get 22 minutes, though. I'm fine with that. And then Jaden Ivey can get 29. And then that is going to be a rotation. So, Armin Thompson's not even getting any minutes, which is unfortunate, but that's just how deep we are right now. So, shot tendencies. Want to take a real quick look. So, I'm going to mess with them this year. So, uh, Kate Cunningham, 90. Uh, Sadiq Bay and DeAndre Hunter, I want to both be like at 72. Like, I want them taking shots. Marvin Bagley, Jane Ivey. I want him to take a jump this year as well. So I'm going to move him to 88. Bagley, like 78. And then uh, anyone else, like Jalen Duran, I don't think I need to move. So they're going to leave that all the way it is. And I'm going to simulate this year. Proficiency is three. I think we could go up, right? We can definitely go up somewhere, right? Just uh, balance. We're going to move this to a balance system. We're going to run it this year. Let's see how we do. Let's see if we can make the playoffs this year. We're really close last year. But I think uh, we definitely should be able to, especially with how, you know, how much Kate Cunningham has developed. So Joel Embiid wins MVP this season, Webb and Yama rookie of the year in Utah. So that's huge. Wait, he fell to them at number three. That's kind of, cr I've never seen Webb and Yama fall that far. I guess I wasn't even paying attention. Porzingis, six man in Orlando, Matisse, defensive player, THT most approved in Sacramento, which I don't know how that's most approved numbers, but sure. And then Doc Rivers, coach of the year and Tyler Jamison, executive. All NBA first team. This is your all NBA first team. No, Cade Cunningham. That's all I care about at this point. All NBA second team and all NBA third team. So nothing there. All defensive first team and all defensive second team. Do we have anybody here? No. We did get the third seed in the East, though. So we went from not even making the play-in tournament to being a top three seed in the East. So we have to be very happy with that. 25 from Cade Cunningham, along with six assists. 17 from Jaden Ivey. 16 from Sneak Bay. 
and 16 for DeAndre Hunter. So Hunter and Bay were our three and D wings. They went out there and clamped up and they gave it 16, gave us 16 points on the other side. We love that. Marvin Bagley, 13 and a half off the bench. Killian Hayes with 10 off the bench. Isaiah Stewart, nine and 10 and two blocks. So he's definitely uh, awesome for us. Saban Lee, eight and a half. I actually gave Saban Lee an extension at the extension deadline. I would have showed it if I signed Sadiq Bay as well, but Sadiq Bay was wanting to test for agency, which is fine. So Saban Lee got himself a bag. And then Jalen Duran, six points. Uh, five rebounds and almost a block per game. So I want to see Jalen Duran continue to develop. But regardless, we get Boston in round one. So they just won a championship last year. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I mean, we have a good lineup, but it is Boston. We're down one to zero, 144 to 129. And we are young and we have no experience in the playoffs. And Boston, of course, has been in the playoffs, you know, the last few years. And we get swept as the third seed. So super unfortunate stuff. We are young. We didn't know what we were doing in Boston. Just that's an unfortunate matchup for us. Like, how did the Celtics go on from sweeping in the finals, winning a championship, and then they get the sixth seed and we have to face them in round one? That's super unfortunate, super unlucky, but we will run it another year. LeBron James retires in Indiana. That's the weirdest thing ever, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's go straight to the draft lottery. And uh, I don't think we have a lottery pick here or anything like that. Maybe we do from some trade we made, and it doesn't look like it. Uh, we do not. I don't think we have a first-round pick at all in this draft, which... May not be correct, but I'm not going to be too upset about it because we have such a full lineup that I don't even care at this point. At this point, I just want to see guys continue to develop, and I think we should be back. And we don't get that shot doctor, unfortunate stuff. We just need literally another year of development, and I think we'll be fine. I don't know how we matched up against Boston. That was unfortunate, but it is what it is. We got a little bit of playoff experience, and we can learn from it. So NBA draft night, I don't think we had a pick unless, yeah, we didn't have any picks. So I'm just going to go straight to player options. And maybe I am supposed to have a draft pick here or draft pick here, but it's no big deal. And then uh, we're going to extend all these. We're not going to obviously give, Ber give Bertanze 16 million. Then Knox is a free agent. Honestly, I don't think I'll be bringing back Kevin Knox, but yes, obviously I want Sadiq Bay back for sure. Kellen Hayes and Isaiah Stewart. I want all three of them back as long as the money is fine. And we kind of have our core. We're locked into our core, which I'm okay with this for that we have right now. So uh, yes, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait till these guys get their offers and Sadiq Bay is getting offered. And of course, four years, 92 million. I'm okay with that. We're going to match Sadiq Bay 100,000%. To get Sadiq Bay back, Killian Hayes is asking for 19 million. I think at this point he's solid and all, but I'm not sure I would love to give him 19 million. Isaiah Stewart, on the other hand, has been our starting center. Unless if there's just something better out here. Let me take a real quick look. So, Katie Cunningham, Sabin Lee, and then Jaden Ivey, Sadiq Bay, Amon Thompson, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Hunter, and Jalen Duran. So, I guess I could go for like an Anthony Davis if I really wanted to. Uh, what else could I go for? Is there anything else out here that I should take a look at before I just lock myself into what we have? Jay McDaniels is out here. I do love Jay McDaniels, but let me look at the top. So, Lonzo Ball. Don't need a guard. Murray, don't need a guard. Obviously, I would love Anthony Edwards. Like, Anthony Edwards in Detroit. I could definitely sign him right now. Holy moly. But, I don't know, man. I feel like Minnesota. He's unrestricted. Why is he unrestricted? Minnesota, are you crazy? He's literally sitting here and I could sign him. Do I sign? Do I sign Anthony Edwards? I could I could do it. I could. But no, I don't think I will. I think Minnesota should keep him. Why was he in Oklahoma City? Wait, what? Yo, 2K's tripping right now. Uh, it, I'm locking myself into what we have. I could sign Anthony Edwards. I'm not going to. I'm getting Isaiah Stewart back on his deal. I'm locking into the core I have. I'm going to sign Killian Hayes back on probably just a qualifying offer. I don't think I want to give him 19 million, to be honest with you. I think that's a little steep. Unless there's a better backup guard out here. Like, I get to Sumu, but I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep killing Hayes. Let's keep killing Hayes around. It keeps telling me to renounce him, but I'm not going to. So, 2K, if you could stop, that'd be great. So, yes, I could have gotten Anthony Edwards, and I still could. I don't know how Minnesota... Okay, Minnesota offer... I don't get that. That's so dumb. Whatever. You know what? It's not my problem. We are going to get killing Hayes back. Everyone else comes back, and we are running another year with this team. So, Amon Thompson might get minutes this year. Who knows? Probably not, though. Now that we brought everybody back and didn't lose anyone. So I do want to go another year here. Power ranking lands is number three. So we should be a really good team. Jay Nivey developed. I mean, yeah, the starting five all just going up and overall. Amon Thompson still not getting any minutes, which I feel so bad about. Proficiency is three and a half balanced. If we go up four star anywhere. We cannot. So I'll leave it at a balanced system. We'll run it this year. And hopefully year number three, you know, is very rewarding based off what we've seen recently. So at the end of this third season, Cade Cunningham does get all NBA third team. So he is looking like he is about to get an all con max con superstar, max contract, whatever you want to call it. 25 and seven from Cade Cunningham makes all NBA third team. And I don't think we had any like all defensive players or anything like that. We did not. And we got the second seed in the East. So this time we did avoid Boston, which is a good thing at the, le at the very least. The player stats wise, we had 25 from Cade Cunningham, 
20 from Jay Nivey, 17 from DeAndre or Sadiq Bay, and then 15 from DeAndre Hunter. So getting exactly what I signed up for here, five and four from Jalen Duren off the bench. So here we go, man. I mean, we just got eliminated last year in round one after being the third seed. So losing in round one is not an option. We need to get past round two at the very least, I think. I mean, the ceiling is here. Our roster is good enough, or at least get past round one. So game one, we do beat them by 17. Good start. Jay Nivey dropped 26. We got the playoff experience last year. Wasn't the greatest, so now we can turn that, you know, embarrassment into fire here. And we're up three to one on Charlotte, and we beat them in five. So just like that, we make it to the second round. We do get out of the first round, which is a W. Milwaukee upsets Cleveland. Boston ends up sweeping Atlanta. I'm so scared of Boston right now, but we also have Philadelphia in front of us. So they have Harden, Maxi, Sebastio Covington. Damn, that's a cool name. I'm not going to lie, but he is a 73 overall starting for them. And that sounds like an, a, a disaster. So game one. Want Jay Nivey, uh, Sadiq Bay is about to clamp him up, man. I, I don't know what Sebastio is doing. He's played 27 minutes, didn't do too much. Max, if we do in game one quite convincingly, up two to zero, beat them by eight. Yeah, I think with that starting three you have, well, they do win game three, so maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. We're up three to one on them, so looking good. AKM 30, and then Killing Hayes had 20 off the bench. He's been awesome, man. So I'm glad I've been keeping him around. In game five, we do lose. Game six, we beat them. So just like that. Man, if we get Boston, this would be the ultimate revenge. And we do get Boston. So it's finally time to get revenge on Boston. So they swept us last year. And they got Josh Richardson back. Okay. And do they not do they not have Jalen Brown anymore? Bro, this team doesn't have Jalen Brown. We have no reason to lose this. I get they have Jason Tatum, but we should be able to just literally, you know, I honestly, if I'm if I'm the coach and I'm playing this team right now, I'm literally just clamping Jason Tatum. I'm doing everything. I'm throwing double teams, double teams at him every time. I see him. I'm daring Brogdon, Richardson, Grant Williams to beat us. I am. That's what I'm doing. The fact they don't have Jalen Brown anymore, we do not lose this series. This is ours to win. We're up 1-0. We beat them by 2. Jaden Ivey, 31. Brogdon, 22. I understand Brogdon and Grant Williams can knock down shots, but I'd rather see those two shoot than Jason Tatum. Up 2-0. to zero. Can we beat them in... F okay, this is not good. All right, game 5. This is a big one. We have to win this, man. I am not trying to lose to Boston again. So, game 5 huge man in these conference final stakes do not get bigger than this we have to win this one in front of our detroit fans so can we get it done is the question we are going to look like it looks like we're gonna get embarrassed at home by boston they don't even have Jalen brown bro like come on man i'm going eight man rotation on this uh game six this is winner go home territory right here we got it we got to get it done game game six in boston in front of those boston fans we got to do it, man. Here we go. Can we beat them in or can we beat them here? Bro, if we lose to a Boston team that doesn't have Jalen Brown right now, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, take the lead. Hang on to it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hang on to that lead. Oh my goodness. Three seconds left. Do we have the ball? I have to jump in. I have to jump in. Bro, I cannot believe we're losing to this. Isaiah Stewart to the free throw line. Wait, we can tie it up. Okay. Whoa, this is actually like huge right now. Bro. I have to hit the free throw. Okay, I greened it. Oh, we get another one. We can take the lead. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. As long as I can green it. And that does not go in. No way. Bro, if they hit this, I'm out. Bro, that literally almost went in. I cannot believe my sister missed a free throw. We're going to overtime. Wow, that is crazy that I got unlucky like that. I greened the first one and then missed the second one. I could have just won right there. Wow, that is super unlucky. Okay. Sim casting overtime, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. Sim cast the overtime. I'm going to slow this down. All right, here we go. They take a two point lead. Come on, man. Wake up. There we go. We tie it up. 119, 117. We take the lead. We can bring this back to Detroit. That's all we need to do. They're starting to run away with it. We need to score. Okay. I'm not liking this. I'm jumping in with the last two minutes to go. They got the ball, but that's okay. I'm coming out here and I'm saving the day, man. I'm not trying to lose to this team. All right. What is this camera right now? What is this camera doing? Uh, good defense. There we go. Let's go. Let's run. Off and running. Off and running. Gabe Cunningham. Can I just get you to go to the basket? Uh, wait. I have Sadiq Bay. Oh, I could have hit him. But it's all right. All right. Let's just uh, let's just get a good shot. I'm gonna screen and roll. Jay Nivey. And they. Oh wait. Cade Cunningham is wide open. I released that late and I still hit it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nice shot from Cade Cunningham. I didn't think I was going to shoot that for a second, but then Robinson Earl stopped looking at me. So, Zeke Bay, let's clamp up Tatum here. He's going to go to the basket, and that is great defense. Get out of here, Jason Tatum. Okay, 
123 to 123. All we need to do is clamp up on this in, and we are good, man. That's all we need to do. This is probably an all-star, by the way, so don't make fun of me too much. I suck at this game, so yes, I play on a lower difficulty because I am trash. But regardless, here we go. Tatum. Oh, my Lord. That was not... He did not just do that to me, man. 42 points. Bro, I guess Dwayne Casey didn't listen to my game plan, man. Like, I would have I just sent the whole wall at Tatum and dared everyone else to shoot, I feel like. But... Whatever, man. I'm going to I'm going to the basket with Cade Cunningham. I get fouled on the way up. I could have passed it out for a three, but probably would have been turnover. So we green the first one. If only I had Cade Cunningham at the free throw line for that other one. And we hit the second one. Okay, tie game. 125 to 125. This is extra content for this video today. Tatum just literally dunked on us. So I'm going to do everything in my power to onball this man and make sure he does not score another basket. They're going to screen. Let's make sure we on he's gonna go okay good play good play you know what honestly man good play i'll give you that but i'm gonna do the same thing to you just so you're aware or i might just take a quick two actually seek bay is wide open give me that man give we have to it's okay it's okay we're not done yet we just gotta get a stop bro how does sadiq bay miss that wide open man Oh, I'm so frustrated right now. Okay. Tatum trying to make something. I'm so nervous right now. Okay. They're going to try to go to Brogdon. Jason Tatum's not moving. Okay. He's going to shoot that and he is going to literally just ruin my dreams. Boston just ruined my life, man. Sadiq Bay misses that wide open three. Like, does it even matter at this point? I don't even like... Doesn't even matter, man. Shout out to the Celtics. Jason Tatum, you're a goat, man. We, we're done. We're done. I hope you guys enjoy. I, I, I literally have no willpower to go forward after that. I really don't. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. That is crazy, man. Let's let's redo this. Let's see if I... Let's see. We just lost, but I'm just curious. If we just simulated game six, do we still lose? No. And, of course, we win this time. And we lose the Thunder regardless. Whatever. But Jason Tatum ruined my life, man. So shout out to Jason Tatum. Thunder won the championship regardless. I'm ending it there. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.